Um, now we're going to have Dan talk about the Willis family. <laughs> yeah, Cindy asked me to come out here and speak, and I said, I don't really like to talk that much. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Grandma and Grandpa had come from the Carolina area down there, or Grandpa did, and uh, at 18, Albert, my dad, the oldest of 18 children, and Dad and Mom, they kind of split up there a little bit. When I was about three or four, Grandma and Grandpa took Connie and I down there to the farm. So I got to grow up with my aunts and uncles, a bunch of them. But uh, pretty neat. And all these people that we've listened about this evening, I, Grandma, I was sitting down there at the table one evening, and Grandma said, you're so blessed. And I said, how do you figure I'm blessed? He said, well, these people bring these coats to you, and she said, no matter of a few days, you're riding them to town. I said, maybe I'm a little more hard-headed than the coat. <laughs> but, all of them, Hardy, Roscoe, Buton, anytime Dan Willis needed a hand, they were there. I mean, they so, they're so good people. But, uh, Cindy wanted me to speak about our avenue of flags, and I don't have the exact date on our avenue of flags, but Dick Meeper and Mary Hill, Mary was a trustee at that time, and we started out with nine flags, and the poles had their names on it. They are the dedicated pole for that <coughs> veteran's flag, and Currently, we are up to 131 flags, and we fly them weather permitting. We don't fly them if the wind's blowing hard or rain or snow, but uh, the community has been so great to come out and help participate in this, and it's, you know, it's, it's Mulberry Grove, it's home. It's just, yes, yes, do that. And then I was talking to Carl when he pulled in. He said, here's Grandma and Grandpa over there. What? Great, great Grandpa. Great Grandpa. Uh, Full Chuck here and then I think his wife is yeah, with him too. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Cherokee Indian. And it started out with the two cemeteries in Greenville. And each one of them refused him to bury him there. And that was in the early uh, 40s, uh, when it was. Right. And so they had to have Marbury said, well, we'll uh, let you bury back here. We'll bury him in the back lot back here. Well, there's a bunch of people buried back yeah. here. I've been tripping around the stone. Yeah. But he's he full yeah. turkey and he's uh, Hardy. Hardy. He's talking Hardy. about Hardy a while ago. Our village hall and the tennis court, I can't remember what year it was done, but Hardy Hatfield got that money, not just from the taxpayers in Mulberry Grove or Bond County, but the money was issued to the village of Mulberry from the United States government. Wow. So, yeah, he was, yeah, very, very beneficial. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot to tell you that when they raise the flags, um, it's raised on Memorial Day, they raise them on the Fourth of July, or Flag Day, and that's when we burn the flags. Um, and they're raised on the 4th of July, and I think the last three, four years now, and during Veterans Day, it's, the weather's not being good to raise them. But they're always, always, always need help because, like you said, there's 130 some. You can tell they go all the way down here, and then when the road splits, they split. And we raise them at 9 o'clock, we lower them, and fold them to put them away at 3 o'clock. So anytime, I said this year is just Veterans Day now that it, we'll be doing it, but anytime anybody can help, and then usually for the afternoon for lowering them has a nice food truck out here. So, <laughs> so that so, little uh, I showed up for one day, but it's my job. It's not the tractor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>